Do a bridge. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, public petition 648609 called for a debate on ending the UK's membership of the World Health Organisation. It was refused by the Petitions Committee, despite well exceeding the 100,000 threshold of public support. So can we please have a statement uh, on why this House is determined to give away sovereign powers to an unelected, unaccountable, non-taxpaying, diplomatically immune from prosecution organisation whose current Director-General was only appointed through an unholy alliance of Bill Gates and the Chinese Communist Party? And perhaps the Leader of the House would say, would say why would say why uh, the WHO, the World Health Organization, has joined excess deaths and vaccine harms as things we just can't talk about in this house. Well, I think there is there is enough uh, there is enough to uh, worry about and focus on and debate about uh, health-related issues and all sorts of other issues without uh, inventing crises and drama where there is none. The Honourable Gentleman uh, has already acknowledged in his question that the petition he refers to is a matter for the Petitions Committee. That is a committee of this House. Uh, I am not responsible for the decisions it takes. Um, I will facilitate and help the Honourable Gentleman secure debates, raise questions and, uh, and anything else that he wants to do on any topic uh, that he wishes to campaign on. And he will know because he has secured debates in this place, and indeed they have been well attended debates, that this House is very open to discussing all sorts of issues, including uh, the World Health Organization, including uh, the treaty that I know the Honourable Gentleman is concerned about. So let's just focus on the real issues and the substance and matters at hand and not pretend that this House or anyone in it or any of its committees has any other hidden agenda, because the Honourable Gentleman knows that is not true.